Hi, my name is Christian Bock, um, and today I want to talk about the data visualization application uh, using the Lab of Things platform. So, uh, currently I'm a student at the University of uh, Heidelberg and University of Heilbronn uh, in Germany, and I'm a visiting scholar at University of Washington for writing my Bachelor Thesis. The Bachelor Thesis has the title A Feasibility Study of a Home-Based Sensor System for Older Adults using the Microsoft Home OS platform. And one question of the thesis is how could Lab of Things be used um, in the context of a home a monitoring system for older adults and it has the aim to develop an application um, prototype which gives older adults insights into their, their uh, health status and if desired enables them to share this information um, with the caregivers. So recent studies have shown that smart home technologies have the potential to increase older adults' quality of life and that older adults are receptive to smart home monitoring systems if they are useful. Visualization of sensor data is one simple way to make smart home systems useful. The challenges in this field um, is to give older adults a simply and useful overview over their well-being and to connect sh shareholders by making this information easy accessible. So I developed an application which has a system design as uh, shown here. So this um, system has one multi-sensor um, in the kitchen and two door and window sensors. Um, one is at the fridge in the kitchen and one is um, at the front door of the house. Uh, there are 11 people living in the house, 11 students, um, so we have a lot of data. So we have these three sensors um, communicating with the Lab of Things Home Hub in the C -Wave, uh, with the C-Wave uh, protocol and uh, the provided sensor application which pushes data to a Microsoft Azure data storage using the Bold API and the application I developed um, visualizes the data by pulling, um, pulling it from the Azure data storage also using the Bold API. Um, a little bit more detailed view is shown here. So the client uh, requests data um, from the server by interacting with my application or just opening the application. The ser server um, requests the data from the Azure data storage and processes it um, and creates a CSV-like string. So data processing means um, calculating uh, different uh, values, for example, the count of yesterday overall sensor events. And this CSV-like string will be um, pushed back to the client um, and the Digraph's JavaScript library will visualize the data. So right now I want to jump into a live demo of the system. So this is the first view you receive um, if you open the application. You have an overview about the average events based on the last 14 days. You have the comparison uh, of these average events to the count of the yesterday events and also information about when the last event was detected. And sensor event is mainly when a multi-sensor um, detects motion or the front or the fridge, uh, the front door or the fridge um, are opened. Uh, the data visualization shows in blue when um, the activity or the sensor events were above the average or red if it's below the average. The aim is to, in, uh, to set up this system in a home for older adults. So if you see an increasing amount of, uh, a decreasing amount of activities, you can uh, whatever call your parents and, and ask what's happening. Uh, you also have an overview um, about the relation between activities or sensor events and environmental data. So environmental data is temperature, uh, humidity, um, or luminosity. Um, so for example, right here you can see that the uh, system went down, so the home hub um, went down, and I just used the uh, data from the last day to visualize it. Um, additionally to, to that, you can see, for example, ha how the temperature is going down after um, a light storm and how humidity uh, is going up. Also, you can zoom in 
and have a more detailed view um, of the data, especially um, the relation between temperature and activities could be interesting for older, older adults. Um, for example, if you would put a multi-sensor in, into a bedroom, because um, restless sleep and the, temperat the room temperature are related. So if you see a lot of activities during the night and a high temperature of the room, you can adjust the temperature uh, and try to get better sleep. Now I want to talk about how LabOrthings helped me um, deploy the system. Um, it was a very straightforward and fast process of developing the system and especially implementing the sensors. It was very fast. It took me not more than like 20 min minutes or even less. Additional to that, um, the provided sensor application writes the data to the, st uh, to the cloud. So um, I was able to just pull the data from the cloud using the Bolt API, which was very simple and straightforward. I also want to stress that um, I have to process a lot of data on the, cl uh, uh, on the home hub itself, since uh, Bolt only allows to have very simple um, data queries. Additional to that, it was very straightforward to um, implement the application itself in C-sharp um, because there are a lot of um, ex um, example applications and writing the front end uh, with HTML, CSS and JavaScript was very easy too. To conclude, I want to say that Lab of Things is an overall stable, easy to use and valuable um, platform which minimizes the effort um, for researchers who want to uh, conduct a smart home study.